In this video, we'll see how we can use ChatGPT to create a math test. So uh, once you have your account, you can type in whatever you want. So for example, create 10 questions on solving second degree equations. So if I run this, I'm actually not happy with what it gave me here. So I'm going to rephrase my uh, question. Let's try this. So create a math test with 10 problems in which students will solve second degree equations. And this is what it gives me. So clearly, I don't want to really put this in a test format for the students. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask uh, to create the LaTeX code for this so that it looks nicer. So let's see what it does. And this is what the chat GPT has given me. So it gave me the LaTeX code. So I'm just going to copy it. So the easiest way, if you wanted to use this in the cloud, there's you can use uh, Overleaf, in which you can have a free account. So I already have my free account here. So I'm going to start a new blank project, and I'm going to call it uh, anything I want. So second degree test, and I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste here the LaTeX code and see what happens. So here's my test. I can download it into a PDF format and you can look at it from here so here are the instructions here are the questions and on the second page I had asked chat GPT to give me the answer key so pretty cool I'm gonna try my luck here with something else so I'm gonna ask it to give me the same test but with an evaluation rubric on on the third page it seems to have given me something so let's copy the code and see what it looks like in LaTeX I mean in uh, PDF form I'll just Whoops, I'm going to, geez, I'm clicking everything. Okay, I'm going to put it here and recompile. And I'll look at it in my PDF download to see what my third page looks like. So first page, I have the instructions. I have the questions. Uh, second page, I have the answer key. And the third page, I have some kind of evaluation rubric here. Uh, I don't particularly like this one, so I'm going to try something else. So if I'm, Ontario, am I, if I'm in Ontario, maybe I want to evaluate from a level of 1 to 4, so let's try this a second time just for fun. As you can see, uh, you can see ChatGPT giving it to us in real time here, so I'm just pausing the video so that we don't have to look at this, but uh, it should take a little bit of time. So after copying down what it's given me uh, in Overleaf, I can see um, I'm still not happy with this personally, uh, but it's just to see what uh, it could do for us. So I'm going to play around with it until it gives me what I want.